everybody. It's out of here coming at you once again with none other than the infamous Kurt Zitzelman. Popping up everywhere now. <laughs> We're taking a quick walk up to Blakely's Hidden Gem, otherwise known as Hulls Creek Falls. This is a, a really neat area. It's an old coal mining area and there are some artifacts that are left. Uh, really cool place. I'm gonna turn the camera around here. And, uh, oh, I can't see the screen, hold on. There you go. And as you can see, there's an old abandoned railroad bridge that would have gone to the mines way back in the day right there. You see that? And then if you look up here, you can see the rock strata and the pitch at which it goes. And there's some really other, there's some really cool other places up here. We're gonna check that out. We actually just passed off a little place right over here behind us. Uh, there used to be uh, a hoisting foundation over there. Uh, doesn't look like it's there anymore. And there's another place that we're coming up to that there used to be a big pulley in the rock. I don't know if it's still there. We'll have to check it out and see. So, well, we had a lot of rain yesterday, so the water's flowing pretty good. So when we come across the waterfall, it should be pretty awesome. But well, while you're recording you, I'm gonna record me. Oh, so. Dueling recording. All right, I'm we are right in line with the bridge that we just walked up. Right behind me is actually an entrance to one of the biggest mine tunnels in the Lackawanna Valley. It was called the Lackawanna Tunnel and it bored into the side of Bell Mountain. Uh, pretty cool. It's all, as you can see, it's all caved in and coll collapsed right now. Um, we've checked it out uh, in the past to see if we can get into it, but apparently we can't. You probably hear Kurt talking in the background here. <laughs> but this is right in line with that bridge that I just showed you that we walked into. So the tunnel used to go right in there and it went through, I think, uh, I think seven veins of coal this tunnel went into. And uh, it, they, when they extracted it, went down the valley and went into the uh, breakers that were down within the valley, so. But there's some more cool stuff as we go along here. behind me there's an old coal mine right there I know it's full of water so we're not gonna try to traverse this uh, uh, rapid <laughs> and get over there but we're gonna continue going up the falls and shoot some more video yep there's a lot of water here check this out you would never even know that this was right up in town. Check out the rock face. That is awesome. And one thing to note here, remember like I said that this was a coal mining uh, area. We are on like right now a bulldozed kind of plateau. See how it's kind of flat? Well if you look over here, it's kind of icy. I'm going to try to try not to fall. You see these rocks, how they're set up? This used to be a dam that went across this whole valley, uh, this whole uh, watershed type of thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, there was a dam there, and that's, uh, they used to dam the water up, and that's, they used to use the water for the mines and, and for water power and stuff like that. So pretty neat. I know I've seen a picture in the past of what this looked like and all the machinery, like there was pipes that came down over the hill. There was pipes that came down over the mountain here. The dam was here and you were able to see the railroad tracks and all the machinery back up over here. It was all really neat. So, but I can kind of see through the trees what I brought her up here to show them. Let's see if you guys could make it out. Right there. When we get closer, you'll see what I'm talking about. What a 
is he doing? Is he peeing? What is he doing? Did he just refill his coffee cup? <laughs> Check out this waterfall though that he's standing right alongside of. I'm walking carefully because I don't want to slip. Nice little pool for swimming in the summertime. Look at that. That is awesome. Get some B-roll footage. Now Kurt is testing out a new pair of boots that he got. Let's see if he falls on his ass. Oh, you made it. New boots. Not good traction. <laughs> All right, this is the, uh, the slip or the, the cut through the rock that the water is taking. Check this out. Look at the speed that that water is going. If you were to fall in that right now, you'd probably die. And these rocks are very slippery. Look at that. That is awesome. And to put this into perspective on where this is, you can see through the fog, See the concrete barrier right there? That's Route 6. What do you think, Kurt? A lot of water. Yeah. So see for uh, the end of November. A lot of water. It's like a slip and slide. I like to come here in the summer. What's that? <laughs> hey, you got the kayak. Put those guys on the drainage just to shame with that. Way too loud to talk here. You probably can't hear me. Let's see if Kurt makes it. There you go. Yeah, I think it's because of how warm the air is coming through here. There's a, the waterfall right up there. I don't think I'm gonna get, I think I have to crawl up on top here to get that, if I even go that far. This might be for another summer trip. That is a lot, lot of water. Zero temperatures, we still got some green here. All 
Alright, this is one thing I wanted to take a look at. I wanted to cross and get close to it, but it doesn't look like I may be able to. As you can see, there's a bat gate right there. And that's the Blakely Falls mine. That goes, uh, you know, down underground. It was a, a, a large scale working mine. And uh, one of the reasons why all this was uh, put up here was just for that reason. This and the Lackawanna Tunnel that was right below it. So, like I said, I want to, uh, I'd like to get over there so I can show you down inside of it. Not go in it because the gate is closed, but just take a picture of being down in there. Ooh, 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 Professor Z, Professor Z. Did you say Batgate? Batgate. Like, Batman lives in there? No, it's to uh, protect the habitat of, I forget what kind of bat it was, but they were, there was a, uh, the white nose syndrome was happening a couple years ago and the bat pa uh, populations were dying off dramatically. So they put all these bat gates on to keep people out of them in order to maintain the, uh, the bat population and keep disease out. Well, thank you. I learned something. <laughs> all right, well, that's the end of our little adventure here for today. Uh, we're going to head out and, uh, I don't know, maybe look at something else. Who knows? You never know. So, once again, please comment, subscribe, and uh, make sure you check out Kurt's channel, which you probably know him a lot better than me, but you know how that goes. We will He's catch you guys. <laughs> He's the one with all the fancy gear. And gear? The, the fancy gear? walk up to on the, on the trail going, hey, aren't you that Adam Z? It's true, that happened. That did happen. That, that, that happened. People so. look at me and they go, get out of my way. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.